Yeah. He's got a very different way of looking at poker than... Mm -hmm. Than you, yeah, yeah. Than, well, I was going <laughs> to say, than, than a lot of people, but sure, than also than me. I think, I think you're very much on the opposite side of things. It seems safe About to as say. far as you could go. Are you talking about Uri Pelik? Seems safe to say. Yeah, they are. Uri Pelik is Owen's Seems coach. a lot over the years. Uri, for those who don't know, Israeli high-stakes pro and coach who also made a course for upswing called Elite Cash Game Exploits. Oh, I used to be all exploit. Oh, really? Yeah, super, super exploit. But it was because there was no solvers. It was just like you had to figure out what someone was up to and... Kind of an action flop for a three bet pot here. Owen with middle pair, some backdoor opportunities. Doug with top pair, top kicker. Doug comes with a raise right away. coming with the three bet right on the flop. Very interesting play from Owen here. What would you suspect the reason is? The hands on this flop overall. He, they both can have pocket eights and pocket tens about the same amount of the time. Doug is a little bit more likely to have pocket fours. But then when it comes to the over pairs, the jacks plus, that's all Owen. Owen has those way more often. So he can kind of play an aggressive strategy here, in theory. And that's going to include some bluffs. And I guess this is kind of the type of, kind of in between a bluff and a value bet, right? Like, it's just an eight with some backdoor opportunities. And there's one of them, picks up clubs on the turn. 59,000 in the middle. Doug's only got 63,000 behind. Doug's going to count down his stack, figure out exactly what's going on here, how deep they are. Makes a big difference in how he should proceed here. Okay. Doug does go for a bet. I assume it's a small size. Yeah, 14,000. I've got 20, 23, 5, 31, 41, 47 mine. Oh, certainly not folding to this tiny bet. It's getting an amazing price. 14, does call. Expensive river coming up. Owen needs an eight or a club. Wow. There it is. This $88,000 pot is going to go Owen's way. Let's see how this river turns out. Maybe Owen's going to lead out. He does not. He checks. Check. Quick check from Doug. And the first big pot goes Owen's way, thanks to uh, that. That's a bad run Two out. clubs on the river. 
We're going to three bet the Queen 10 offsuit. Doug's got a calling hand. Jack 8 suited in position, even against the big re raise that Owen is using. Certainly a call. 9,000 in the middle. I like these three bet pots when Owen's the three better. They get juicy. Doug with top pair. Owen with the straight draw on 8, 7, 6. Offsuit six on the turn, does bring clubs. Owen has the 10 of clubs. I don't know how much that matters, but I felt the need to point it out. Let's see if he decides to come with another bet. He does. Just 5,000, very small bet. I think Doug's going to have a fairly trivial call against this bet size. 25,000 in the middle now. Owen needs a 9, a queen, or 10. Nothing doing. Two of hearts on the river. Let's see if Mr. Masseri wants to fire here on the river. It's going to be tough to get Doug off this hand, but he, Doug may consider letting it go. There's the bet. Yeah, 19,000. Just under 80% of the pot. Owen's representing kind of the obvious stuff here. Aces, kings, queens, jacks, tens. Maybe nines. Maybe some sixes. Like a six-five suited. Be very surprised if Doug let this one go, but we'll see. There's the call. He does flick in the call. And with that, Doug pulls pretty close to even, down just around $15,000 right now. Hey everybody, Doug Polk here with a quick question for you. If you turned $400 into $250,000, what would you do with the money? That dream scenario can become a reality for you with the $1 million guaranteed Mega Monster coming up now at the Lodge Card Club. The Mega Monster takes place from August 3rd to 14th, and we are guaranteeing the first place price to be at least a quarter million dollars. Not bad for a $400 buy-in. If you're joining us from out of town, we put together an easy to use hotel discount page where you can get exclusive lodge discounts at local hotels. Go to thelodgepokerclub.com slash hotels now to book your room. And if you miss the Mega Monster, don't worry, because we're sure to have another big tournament coming up in the near future. Check out our schedule now at thelodgepokerclub.com to see the next big tournament coming straight to you. Thanks for listening. Hopefully, I'll see you in Texas. Oh, that's nice. It's <laughs> nice when you get the exact one that you've been studying. Yeah, yeah. You're a big one, right? Oh yes. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, well, we we were studying eight seven four, so, oh, so totally different. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I, I was a bit thrown, yeah. but, but yeah. You think some of this concepts apply, or I, I don't know really. I was sort of winging it. Uh, yeah. Something you always love hearing. Your opponent's just winging it.
Owen will drill the straight on the turn. Doug picks up two pair. This could get a little expensive. Oh, and of course, probably going to put in the raise here. Doug does not look happy to be facing a race here. But he will make the call. Five of clubs would be interesting, and it's not the five of clubs. Owen still maintains the best hand. Healthy over bets. Let me think about this. Probably going to end up putting it in, but let me just think about it for a moment. Actually, I have a good chunk of jack eight. Not a lot, but something. Have some eight six. Have a little six three, but not much. Gonna have to call outside of that. I don't think there's much of a way you'll let this one go. Doug wants to fold. I can see it in his face, but he doesn't think he can. Too high in his range. He's gonna flick it in. Owen's gonna win a 48k pot. Nice turn card, nice hand to Owen. It's funny seeing Rigged Doug pull turn. talk himself into a call. Rig. <laughs> Rig turn. You know, if if you like, like the traps have a logic to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So so it's not like, like random hands don't just trap random sizes. It's not like it's not like every single hand has to mix into every size consistently. Four thousand. No, I, I understand that. So, oh. but so then if you spend a bunch of time on the logic of that, and then it's. Like, but balancing your ratios of all of those is like kind of a nightmare. for Owen. Straight draw for Doug. Yeah, this is going to get interesting. It's a big bet from Doug. Full pot. Doug clawed his way back to even pretty much going into this hand. And if Owen holds up and hangs on, Doug's going to give that position right away again. Oh, and not going anywhere on the turn. Things could get interesting here on the river. River Jack would be disastrous for Owen. Every other river would be very interesting too, though. Some offsuit seven. 
Doug doesn't have any spades in his hand, which is going to make him want to bluff a little bit more often. I think more than likely Doug is going to fire here. Question is what size? Full pot again. These guys are good at calculating the size of the pot quickly, I gotta say. Better than me. Oh, and now stuck with just middle pair. Does he have to call with this hand against this bet? That's what he's thinking about right now. Does he have enough better hands that he could fold this one? Pivotal moment in the match so far. If Owen calls, he's going to be up. About 65,000, which is near his peak. If he folds, he's going to be down 16,000, which would be a valley for him. Lowest point in the match so far. Big spot for the young online player. one of the first real spots I think Owen has been in all match thus far. Let us know what you think he's going to do in chat. One, if he, you think he's going to call. Two, if you think he's going to fold. He doesn't look super happy about it either way. Owen Masseri. All he has to do is flick in a chip to win a 120k pot. Chan is pretty divided. I think that speaks to how tough the spot is. Just to recap the action in this hand, Owen raised the button, dug three bet, Owen called, Doug bet on the flop, Doug bet pot on the turn, and now Doug has once again bet pot on the river. Oh, cool. Wow. Owen makes a great call. 120,000 $600 pot going his way. With that, he jumps to his peak for the match, up 65,000. Huge spot, nice call.
from the young online pro. Yeah, absolutely monstrous call from Owen. That is going to put him back into the lead. I have like a welt on my head where someone just like smashed me from the side. It's, it's pretty tilting. I guess something you don't think about when you're watching NBA on TV is when a player's complaining about a call. And you're like, dude, just grow up. Come on, it doesn't matter. And then you're like, no, if they get hit hard by like some of those some of those guys are like massive professional athletes. You take like a flying elbow to the head while you're trying to make a play, like you're probably gonna be pretty pissed if that isn't a foul. Not even just because like it should be a foul, just like you got hit in the head, you know? I feel like if the refs want, they can call a foul on any play. It's probably contact that almost. Well, they definitely can do that. That is, it is in their job, job description. It's like same with oh, and out flops Doug here in this three bet pot. It's like same with the holding team, same with the NFL. Check. Doug does have the ace of hearts though. Holding kind of has rules where, like, if you grab inside the jersey or from the side, then they don't really, or then they'll call up. Otherwise, they don't really call too much. Doug will check and make the call and is set up for a cooler on the turn. Yeah, nasty spot for Doug here. 16,000 already in the middle. He's destined to lose a good amount more. He's actually going to lead out small. 2,400. Very small. Yeah, once again, like when Owen led that 10 earlier that paired the board, Doug is saying, this card is better for me. So I'm going to bet it frequently and small. Doug would do this with a wide variety of hands, not just when he has an ace. But he's going to have an ace quite often. Is the raise from Owen? Massive raise, at least relative to the bet size. Yeah, basically a pot size raise. Doug not going to go anywhere, and he's going to need a queen. A heart could save him from putting in a lot more money as well. Where's that heart? Doug does have the ace of hearts. I don't know quite how much that matters. Because I don't think Owen would raise the turn with just like a seven of hearts, for example. Sorry, how much are you playing? 20... 80, 100, 110, like 120, 100, 110, oh sorry, that was more than that, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. How big does Owen want to bet? Does he want to bet at all?
Looks like he cut out about 46,000. Yeah, about a three quarter pot size bet. Targeting the exact kind of hand that Doug has. A big ace. Especially one with a heart. It's a tough spot for Doug. All right, I didn't randomize the jam, but you were getting jammed on here sometimes. I got top pair. Let's see. What do we want to do? Uh, Doug was going to jam as a bluff huh? here some of the time. 23. But he didn't randomize that number. 26. 26. The jam would have been absolutely sick. Kind of wish we had seen that. That is 46. It's a healthy bet. I think it's a hearse. It's a pretty, it's a pretty good card to have. You're kind of repping. I wish you jammed. <laughs> You're saying you have an ace beat. Values like min value, but I think any two pair. Yeah, you just want to beat an ace. Hard to find a lot of bluffs here. There's like 10 9 and 10 7 suited. And then there's like, gonna be just like going ham with like pocket threes. Doug is starting to suss this out correctly. How do I have this that much better? I'm actually full of two on turn probably. Oh, it's so hard with the ace of hearts. I don't know if I'm gonna let this go. This is a scary spot to bluff, too. I think you're supposed to, I think you're supposed to. My heart says just to let it go, but I think the math says you're supposed to sometimes call. How much is it, 46? I'd be pretty ambitious to bluff here. All right, we're going to play the game of half the time I press call. <laughs> All right. If this is the ace of hearts, I'm putting in the money. If this is the queen, I'm folding. You want to, you want to do the honors, Mickey? No, it's $46,000 right. right. flip here. Ace is a call. Doug does not there want to draw the ace of hearts. Call. There's the ace. Nice hand. He has shown the bad news, and that, I believe, is the largest pot we've had today. Indeed. Just... Okay. Forty-six thousand dollar flip. Definitely a rough spot for Doug. Owen now up. How many people over a hundred thousand? My heart says to fold, and you're like, hey, "There's a good chance I still get paid off here." <laughs> you believe it'll happen? It will happen. People like put like a, the car of their dreams up on the wall and then they work hard to get it one day and it happens more because they see the car every day. 1,000. That's Motivation. like me with bluffing. I put a big picture up of just like having aces and I look at it every morning. <laughs> <laughs> like I could do that. 4,500. Owen will three bet ace queen. He's got Doug dominated. Both flop a pair, hitting their kicker. I shouldn't say kicker, but you know, their queen accompanier. Pot size bet. Heart on the turn. Owen with the only heart. It's a good one, too. Check. Slows down with a check.
flush on the river for Owen. I would think he goes for some value, but he doesn't. He goes for the check. And that could work out really nicely. Doug could bluff this hand. It's hard to imagine Doug having many miss with how the hand is played out. If Owen has a hand like ace-queen with no heart, Doug would probably be successful when he bluffs here. This time he's not going to, though. I can thank for content if you want. Ah, cool. <laughs> that is. It's not what you want to hear. Damn it. <laughs> when you said you want me to thank for content, I was like, this isn't good. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it is not. But I couldn't be like... <laughs> I couldn't give away my hand. I was just like, all right, well, sounds like I'm losing this. My, my sister wants to go traveling immediately when I get back. And I'm just like... You close with her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I need a little bit of breather after a long, long trip. Good flop for Doug. We have an Doug. action flop. Yeah, and Owen with the flush draw. Fair fight here. But Owen's going to check back. Keep the pot small. Jack of clubs on the turn. Expect Doug to wager. But he does not, he checks. Owen's now going to put in a wager. in not the most fun spot here against this check raise from Doug. I think it's a clear call. You have a flush draw, but not exciting. Get a little more exciting on a heart river, though. Let's see if he can find it. He there did. He is. Doug with the King of Hearts could factor into his, into his decision somehow. Owen now debating to call or raise and to what size he will raise, it looks like. How much is that? 28, 28, What a weird hand. What a weird, weird, weird hand. There is any flush. I don't know about, don't know about low flushes.
Which is it? Doug does have the King of Hearts, for what that's worth. The nine blocking boats. Tough hand to fold, man. I can't imagine folding this. Yeah, he does make the call. I think in terms of bluff catchers, it's about as good as it's going to get. And is I mean, against a capable player like Owen, you can't be folding the hand that strong. Unfortunate run out. Just tough luck for Dougie. Nice hand for Owen. Drags a 69k pot. Nice. Thanks for Doug. Certainly going to three bit this. Owen's going to float this flop with Jack-10. A lot of straight possibilities on the turn. That's not one of them, though. He needed a card above an 8 to turn a straight draw. Doug's still with just 10s, though. He's going to check now. Owen is going to come out firing. Full pot. From the pro from London. Doug certainly cannot fold yet. Pocket 10's on this board. Way too strong to fold just to turn bet. The river is where things could get interesting, especially on a club. There it is. And there it, yeah, there it is. Owen with a very valuable, valuable card in the 10 of clubs right now. Doug could still sniff this one out though. It depends what, uh, what size Owen comes with. It's going to be an interesting river. Tens. Wow. Wow, no bluff from Owen. I am... <sighs> Thank fucking God. Oh, that's a weird hunt. I am shocked to see him check that That back. was going to get ugly. I had, yeah... I had Jack-10, but I had a club. I was like... Oh, it's not a good one to follow through when I want you to follow Jackson tens. These two players have been on today. <laughs> Eight full hours of heads up. High stakes play as we see those cumulative winnings one more time. Owen came out on top up nearly $200,000 against Doug Polk.